Hello everyone, my name is Kamal. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about how to improve as a photographer. You know, as a photographer, you're always on this hunt to improve your photos, to make better pictures, and to improve your identity as a photographer. So today I'm going to give you some tips, and I'm just going to talk about how to improve in general. So without further ado, let's get it rolling. Okay, so the first tip that I want to talk about, which in my opinion is the single most important step in improving your photography, is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Go on the field, take photos, go with other people, take even more photos, just take as many photos as you can. You know, um, nowadays it's very easy to spend time on the internet and just watch videos, get knowledge, which is a very important part of improving. But nothing beats actual practice, actually practicing what you love, you know, because once you get this knowledge and you learn all these things, you know them as information, but not as practical information. You know them there, but not here. And I think it's very important to just take and take and take and take more photos, because not only you learn how light, color, exposure, and all the things that come around you work all together, but you also learn to get used to your camera, which is a very important part of becoming a better photographer. And this leads me to the second part, which is Gear doesn't matter, sort of. I mean, I'm not going to be the guy who tells you, yeah, you can shoot with a potato camera and then like it's gonna be the same as a, I don't know, a red Komodo or something. But point is, if it can film, it can film. Because no matter what, it's going to be about the story you tell, the info you wanna pass on, whatever your content is, not the visual nor sound part. Now don't get me wrong, things have to look somewhat decent and they have to sound audible, you know? But you still want to make sure to focus on the content rather than the form. So don't focus on gear, focus on your story. I mean, I started photography with a smartphone and I've been using this Fuji X100T, mind you, for like two years. It doesn't even have an interchangeable lens, but I love it. I love it. Like, I'm used to it. I know how to take good photos with it. And when I look at how my photos looked when I started while using this cam to how they became, they improved a lot even though it's the same cam, same lens, same everything because you get you get used to the you know to the camera to the actual camera itself the third tip i want to talk about is ask for criticism because all your friends are always going to be yeah this is really pretty and this is really nice and that's really kind i love my friends but that's not really helping to actually improve ask for real criticism ask for people to tell you what's nice of course like what works but make sure they also tell you what doesn't work and sometimes it stings a bit sometimes it hurts a bit but the point is knowing what doesn't work is the only thing you really need to kind of improve you know and so asking from people like it can be anyone you know you can ask for, for criticism from anyone but one thing that I'd really recommend is just to ask some experts ask advanced people what they think because there is no correct way to take a photo in theory there are like taking your photo and making sure it's properly focused properly sharp properly exposed but even this is kind of arguable because nowadays some people try to take somewhat blurry photos to imitate old disposable cams and then they saturate some colors and all this thing. So in the end, once you have your basics nailed down, it's all stylistic. And so there's no correct way, but there's just a way that makes it more enjoyable for people to look at your pictures that tell a better story, uh, have a better narrative and just plainly look better. So once you get this information, you can Take this criticism into you and take it, you know, like as fuel to just improve, to know what to change, to know what to improve in your photos. And I think it's very important to ask for real criticism, constructive stuff. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is what I want to call the power of hindsight. And um, it's this thing that you should know that you're improved when you look at your old pictures and even if you see the tiniest bit of improvement, that means you're improving. And keep in mind that as photographers, everybody's going to improve at their own different rhythm. And so it's kind of hard to uh, compare to other people, but just look at your yourself, your old photos. And if you start to see how they fall apart compared to what you're taking now, you know that you're improved. If you think your photos basically look the same, keep in mind that it's very hard for you to judge yourself. And so I advise uh, asking someone to compare your old photos to your new photos and tell you what improved, what didn't improve, whatever, just to see how you evolved through time. It's very important because that's what, that's what, again, helps you improve as a photographer, you know. Looking back, now when I look at my old photos, uh, I look at this photo, for example, I'm like, how the hell did I take this? When I look at my photos now, I'm seeing I improved a lot. And uh, there's a video about how 
Uh, it's by Jamie Windsor. It's called Why Bad Photographers Think They're Good, I think. I'm gonna link it above. It's a very good video. I really recommend watching it. But the part that I want to talk about is simply the fact that when you're starting out, you kind of think that you're really good. Like, once you do your first steps, we tend to think we're really good. And we really are it because we still have so much to learn. And keep in mind, we always have much to learn, but like, especially in the beginning. And so you tend to think your photos are amazing. But then once you slowly start to improve and discover things, you're like, huh, they weren't that good, were they? You know? And uh, you should really watch this video by Jamie Windsor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it in the description too if it didn't pop up above, whatever. But the last thing that I want to talk about is trying to find your style as a photographer. Now, this is something that takes years and years and years to meticulously craft. I've been taking pictures for a while, but I've been considering myself as a photographer for the last year and a half. Nowadays, everybody has a camera, everybody has a smartphone, anybody can take pictures, you know, and for example, now the trend is making your photos look like film, so they're bright, a bit grainy, have very saturated colors sometimes, sometimes more pastel things. Point is, sometimes things are popular, and don't get me wrong, if your style is what's popular, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's a reason it's popular, you know, it's still good. But my main point is, add your twist to it. Even if you're taking something that's not so popular, add your twist to it. Make sure you are recognizable through your photos, because if you don't, what ends up happening is that your photos ends up blending in in all those Instagram posts, those influencer posts, and trying to find what defines you as a photographer, your style, is what will make the difference between you being a person with a camera to you being an actual photographer. And again, for me, for example, I still don't know what my style is. I'm starting to see some consistency between my pictures, especially because I play a lot with shadows and these kind of things. And I like kind of somewhat either darker colors, or like I like to put emphasis on bright colors by adding some more shadows. And so I don't really have my style defined yet, but I like to think I'm on my way there. I'm trying to have a certain consistency between my pictures. And all of the things we talk about today complement that. All the knowledge, all the experience, all the criticism, all the discovery, all of these things, plus your personal taste in general, are all going to amalgamate and to create your personal style. And I think it's very important. Well, we reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Usually I make more scripted things, but I thought it would be interesting to have a discussion about this with you guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. Check me out on Instagram right here. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what would you like to see next. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.